Our subject today is, I think, speakers. And from the quick read that I had of this, I believe that's what we're going to talk about. But let's get into it, and then we'll, we'll riff on it. So this is from John in Ashland, Massachusetts. And John writes, Paul, I have a small listening room, approximately uh, 10 by 15, with a 7-foot ceiling. That's a little narrow, but not too bad. I upgraded from an old Thorns MK2 table with a Sumiko Bluepoint cartridge to a Music Hall 7.3 with Sumiko cartridge. Uh, and I went from Tannoy bookshelf speakers to old Snell J2 speakers. Um, let's see. He also has a Cambridge Audio preamp, Rotel Phono Stage, Rotel CD player. Formerly, I could hear highly discernible imaging differences between records and CDs. I do love analog but now the differences aren't there anymore. Records are still better overall with wider imaging and better gain than CDs, but the differences seem much less marked. Uh, any idea why this might be occurring? Yeah, you know, first off, um, your electronics, the Cambridge Audio amp, preamp, Rotel phono stage, and Rotel CD player are, are good. I wouldn't call them well, I don't want to say high end because they are certainly uh, uh, they are not consumer grade. They are they are certainly high end. And forgive me for 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 putting them down, but I, but I I class those products down a little bit in the low end of high end. So right away you're struggling with having resolving electronics, but you could resolve differences before, and now you can't. I think it's I think it's your loudspeakers. You, you say in here, John, that you've gone from um, a, um, a set of Tannoy bookshelf speakers to some old Snell J2 speakers, which I'm not that familiar with. I know, uh, boy, Peter Snell, that was, he was a, a, a brilliant guy. Tannoy makes some really good and highly resolving speakers. I mean, they are, is Tannoy, I think Tannoy is German, but they're, they're certainly... Um, from, from European vendors, and those tend to be a little leaner. They tend to be a little bit more resolving and probably have a better tweeter than your Snells. And if I remember my history right, Snells, uh, certainly an American brand, were a little bit more robust in the bottom end, uh, a little bit more kind of like the Poke Audio uh, products, and by that, I mean, there was a period in American hi-fi that was uh, uh, epitomized by Polk Audio, Boston Audio, and uh, a number of other mainstream brands that made speakers who, uh, they, 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 were, they were designed to sound good on everything. Right, so no matter what you played, a crappy uh, a track from I don't know, you know, who, who are we going to pick on today? I, you know, I don't. I think I won't pick on anybody today, but you know what I mean. Crappy recordings sounded pretty good. Great recordings sounded pretty good. Bad, good, mediocre recordings all sounded kind of, um, kind of good. Sort of like, um, you know. Uh, a middle-of-the-road McDonald's hamburger. It isn't great. It isn't bad. Uh, and, and I say this being a vegetarian. <laughs> I don't eat that crap at all. But I used to, and I know that that was sort of middle-of-the-road, right? And so there's a whole set of gear, and particularly there was a lot of that back, back when, uh, and Snell was part of that, whose whole mission in life was to make products that just kind of sounded good on everything. Great on nothing, poor on nothing, right down the road on everything else. And I think that's what's happened. I think your Snells are doing you the disservice of not being as revealing as they could. So either go back to the Tannoys or um, there are a number of great speakers out today that are low cost. You could upgrade pretty easily. Um, and so you might think, like my buddy Sandy makes uh, Golden Air speakers. They, they lean a little bit towards the everything sounds great, but they are revealing and they are excellent. So just a suggestion. Um, even um, Elax. Uh, uh, what's the guy? Uh, 
can't think of the the designer did a great job and they have some pretty pretty resolving power and they're cheap really cheap so elax golden ears good stuff maybe give that a try hope that helped thanks bye Thank you.